My first glass crusher needed to be fed bottles by hand, which was okay at first, but as the need for crushed glass increased, I found I couldn't feed it fast enough because of the narrow inlet. So I decided to build this monster. It will process glass as fast as I can load it in and will crush material up to 10 inches in diameter. The mill scale is first removed with a disc sander to ensure the plasma cutter has a good ground. Cutting begins with the largest parts being cut first. All the parts cut from this sheet will be used in building the inlet chute. The upper and lower sides of the inlet are cut to width first and then cut at a 30 degree angle. Next, the top plate is cut to width and then to length. And then the bottom plate is cut to size. All parts are labeled with a soapstone to make them easier to identify during assembly. The back plate is then cut to width and length. Plasma cutting leaves a rough edge on steel called slag that has to be removed before assembly and welding. This is most easily done using the hammer to chip it away. Any slag that can't be removed with the hammer is ground off with a right angle grinder. Grinding also trues the edge so that all matching surfaces line up well. The last step that is needed is to bevel many of the edges. This is especially important with butt welds. It allows the weld bead to sink in properly and makes a better looking and stronger joint.